Okay, here we go with lesson 13.2 when we're talking about the volume of a cone and there's really no significant difference between a cylinder and a cone except for the fact that a cylinder is three times as large as a cone if all the other dimensions are the same. You still need the radius and I'll draw a little radius on the cylinder and that is no different than it is for a cone. You still need the radius of a cone, but you can take a look at this fraction here, and this right here is there to show you that any cone, if all the other dimensions are the same, a cone will be one third the size of a cylinder. So the volume of a cylinder uh, is pi r squared times the height, whereas the volume of a cone is one third and the formula is still, the rest of it is still the same. One third pi r squared height. I'll go ahead and take myself off of the video and I'll split the screen and we'll do some problems and I'll show you how it looks in the calculator. Okay, here we are with the first example and I've got the screen split. Over here you can see what we're gonna deal with in the calculator and the first thing we wanna start with is the formula. So the formula for a cone is that volume is one third times pi r squared times the height. And so we're going to go ahead and plug in some numbers here. We got one third times pi, which is 3.14. And then r squared. You can see r right here because it's already halfway across. The r is 2. So 2 squared and the height, which is 8 inches. So let's come over here to the calculator and we're going to use that a over b button for one over three, and I'll do this all with my mouse, one third times 3.14. Oop, and it's going into the bottom there, so let's take that away. Forgot to click out. Let's click out there, times 3.14, and it missed my decimal point, 0.14, times two squared, times two, and I'm gonna go ahead and use this a squared button, two squared, times eight. There's my height and my volume. We're going to round it off to 33 point. It's four nine. We're going to just call it 33.5. 33.5 uh, and it's cubic inches because it's volume. Now let's go ahead and, and we're just going to jump right over here and do this one and I'll show you how fast this goes. Um, sometimes it just takes longer to write the formula, but I do want you to write the formula every time. Uh, volume is one-third times pi r squared times height. So the volume is one-third times 3.14. Now this time they give us, they don't give us the radius, they give us the diameter. The eight is all the way across. We gotta divide that by two. So the radius is only four. It's not eight, that's the diameter, times the height, which is nine. And I'm running out of room a little bit on the side there, but I'll write it like that. There we go. So if you come over here to the calculator, I'm gonna just change that eight to a nine and I'm gonna change the radius. That's all I have to change. The one third and the pi are gonna stay the same. The radius on this one is four. And so there's one third times 3.14 times four squared times nine and it's the volume 150.7 cubic feet. Okay, we're just gonna do uh, one of these word problems here. Nothing about uh, this lesson is terribly complicated. It's really just a matter of calculator exercise. Uh, and we're taking a look at example two for her geography project. Karen built a clay model of a volcano and the volcano was in the shape of a cone. And so when it's in the shape of a cone, I know I gotta use the volume of a cone formula, which is one third times pi r squared times height. And we already talked about the fact that we really only need to know what the radius is and uh, what the height is, because I already know that one third is just one third and pi is just pi. So it's one third times 3.14. And you can see over here in the calculator, I already have one third times 3.14 in the calculator. Those things will never change for this lesson, but I do need the radius squared. And it tells me that her model has a diameter. Uh oh, the diameter, that's gonna be the distance all the way across. Uh, the base, the diameter of the model is 12 inches, so the radius is half that. So the radius is six inches and it's squared and it tells me the height is eight. And so if I wanna find the volume of this, I just need to come over here to the calculator and I'm gonna add six squared 
times eight, that's my height, and the volume of this is 301.4 cubic inches, inches cubed, and that's how big the volcano is. The rest of it's pretty simple, so I will wish you good luck. And make sure you show the formula, show the numbers, and then box your answer. These are the three steps that you need to show to finish this lesson for each problem.